North Ayrshire Council and how they have been asking to get access to my house when an annual gas service check was done less than a few months ago. I actually had to get an emergency call out after it because they turned the water, the hot water up way too high and it was way too hot to get in a bath even after putting loads of cold in it. It left me in a dangerous place with regards to the, the boiler. I definitely won't be given access to anyone else to try and do that. I know that the plans are because they've been sending people out to do hits only the other night. There was a thunder and lightning storm just round the corner and just after I looked out and seen there was a car with sirens and my car parked as well. Uh, they know everything that's going on in my phone. It's people that have got access to systems where they're it's me and a few other women that are speaking out about all oh, this that has been going on, beauty, uh, and the other black women as well, James has been really on the story a lot as well as regards to it. Uh, you're going to have to realise there's a really big call in my life and nobody's going to be able to stop it and you're not going to try and force yourself entry into this house because there's nobody that I don't know and trust getting in here to touch that boiler. It's already been reported and written in a complaint to email the company about the person that done that. Because he was obviously willing to risk his job and risk a major disaster in my house and you're an absolute liability to the company. Uh, yeah, so it was about that and the people working for the feds and then these organisations connected to CPS, you're going to get caught, you think you're not, you're going about putting families and children in danger deliberately just because you're extremely jealous and you've got severe mental health issues that you're projecting onto innocent people, that you've put them through absolute hell, what I've had to endure at that hospital, suffered three miscarriages, a stillborn and all sorts of disturbing things have taken place that really didn't need to happen like this because me and my son have been put through major stress and upheaval to the point where he's alienated and probably doesn't feel loved and cared for where he is because he's with people that are not even teaching their children what compassion is and care and everything and they're trying to do the opposite of me why they're so adamant to try and put me out of this world because they don't want people to be woke they don't want the other operates on evil with no compassion and trying to teach people to heal and stop taking your problems and your issues out and everybody else because it's the problems within you and you need to heal that for your own greater good. If you're not able to love yourself properly and heal then you won't be able to love nobody in which case you're not really a great deal of use to this world. And even people like Donald Trump, the president, you're not above all this because you're, you're not going to be able to take lives and think that you'll not be responsible. You're not innocent and you will be accountable for what you're saying and doing, trying to wreck people's lives just because you're in touch with people like Keanu Reeves who's got dementia and schizophrenia because he dabbled with dark magic so much and done so much and went to so many lens paying people to ruin me and my whole life and my children to the point that there's two Nigerian women lined up who can't have children, waiting on children, that they think they're going to cash in by kidnapping newborn babies for me. And you can forget it, you're not, because they're all going to jail and trying to get me kidnapped for prostitution as well. You know who's responsible for it all and it's not going to go unnoticed. You're going down for it.